Welcome back to another day on the Pixelborn Lorcana Client. Today, we're playing a Donald Duck Not Again deck that has all the board control, but also a unique way to use the extra damage with Donald Duck. For each point of damage on Donald, he quests for an additional lore, and with a willpower of 5, a 5 questing character on an evasive body can be pretty tricky for our opponents to deal with, but what's even better are the surprise points he gains when we ready for our turn and drop a smash on Donald, questing for 4 out of nowhere. This mental misstep from our opponents can be the difference between winning and losing the game. Outside of Donald, we run 4 copies of Minnie Mouse, Always Classy, and Tiana, Diligent Waitress who are great early game bait for our opponent's early aggression. We can follow up with teeth and ambitions to wipe out certain threats or keep the pressure with quests each turn. Minnie Mouse, Stylish Surfer, and Goofy Daredevil are here to seal the deal against decks unable to combat evasive, and Maui, Hero to All, and Cinderella Stouthearted are great board control. We run three copies of Beast Tragic Hero for the additional card draw, and three copies of Beast, Selfless Protector, to guard against steel removal. And for the heart of the deck, we aim to nuke everything our opponents play with Fire the Cannons, Smash, Dragonfire, Teeth and Ambitions, Let the Storm Rage On, Strength of a Raging Fire, and Be Prepared. Bear in mind that Fire the Cannons, Smash, Let the Storm Rage On, Strength of a Raging Fire, and Teeth and Ambitions all deal damage and can be used with our Donald Duck to grow his questing ability, so don't waste all of your removal. But that's the deck. Let's jump in and see if we can't win a few. Hey, it's not Ruby Amethyst. Nobody likes playing against Ruby Amethyst. It's nice to not play against it. <laughs> okay, I do have a teeth follow-up. Into a turn three mini, not so bad like this card too, but you are on inkable and it's a little too early. Don't give me on inkables! Nailed it. You know what? We always play Minnie Mouse. Let's get Tiana down. Plus I got another mini. It's fine. We can diversify our characters. Hercules! Alright, opponent gave us nothing to do. I will wait, and we will hold on to... Ooh, that's a good card, though. That's a good card, though. Never gonna get to the Cinderella. I will hold on to the teeth. Opponent is playing a Steel Song, at least Steel Song Colors. So we could see a Cinderella. World's Greatest Criminal Mine into a Prince Eric. Prince Eric? Alright, simple play, simple play. We're gonna drop... Strength, we'll play the Minnie Mouse Surfer Edition. Pass the turn. Yes, I'm wearing the shirt for a fourth day in a row, I know. I'm, I'm gonna be in Vegas in a few days. I was trying to get ahead of videos, guys. Come on. Gosh. I need to double check my days, but I'm gonna be there like the 29th through the 2nd, or the 30th through the 2nd, something like that. If you guys are in Vegas, if you want to meet up, just let me know. I'm going to be there. It's going to be cool. Going for a work thing, but also not a work thing. Yeah, there's a there's a, an event that applies to my line of business, uh, but we're not we're opting to not do it this year, uh, but we're taking advantage of the free hotel rooms. So the wife and I are going to go hang out in a free room. All right, can I? Maybe that was his mistake. I probably should have sang with that to get rid of Ariel. Not that I can play anything else anyway. Dang, dang, double dang. So not a mistake because I couldn't do anything about it. Fast turn. All right, opponent. How are you going to mess up my board and make me sad? Quit aching Hercules. He's the best. Thank you for playing Hercules. He is the best. Alright, that Robin Hood needs to go. So does the Ariel, man. Definitely gonna sing something here. Ooh, it didn't sing. It did not sing song. Alright, well, if I play a beast... 
I can protect from the swords, but will it be fast enough? Right, because next turn they swords and then Robin Hood goes off. So I think I'm playing a mini and I'm destroying the Robin Hood. It's tough, right? Because then they can pay for it, pay for the swords and then use Robin Hood to take something out anyway. But that costs their whole turn. That's if I take out the aerial. If I just take out the Robin Hood, they still get the swords effectively for free. Hmm. Can I delay them and then Beast will just eat a swords? I do not know. Okay, here's the tough choice. Who do I take out? If I take out the hood, they don't take out any of my characters. If I take out the aerial, they do get to nuke one of my characters, but they don't get to uh, do anything else. Let's do it. Let's take out the aerial. It's just, it's, there's too much potential in it. And I don't want them to be able to snowball with it. It's worth losing a character to get rid of that aerial. If indeed they do have the swords. All right. That's not a swords. It's exactly what we were playing around was the fact that they were going to have a swords. There goes a beastie. And there's another aerial. Fantastic. All right, disappointed quest. Does Robin Hood start putting in the work? It does. Oh, and it hits the mini. Okay. Interesting. All right, here's my battle plan, I think. We're going to go wide and try to take as much advantage as we can. And then once it gets a little too crazy, we will destroy everything. <laughs> Hercules. Alright, well, they could take out Tiana. But I imagine they'd rather just use a Prince Eric, since Hercules quest for two. Alright, what are you singing for free? Alright, that takes out Goofy. Are you singing again? All right, now I got to do the math. Is it worth it? Oh, I got a dragon fire. Well, these obviously quest. Do I nuke the entire board or do I get rid of a problem? Either way, the mini dies to the Robin Hood or Robin Hood also takes out, does a point to this mini and then they got a swords. That's a problem. Uh, I also don't want to just lose out to them having a whole new world. Can't play be prepared though. So who's the target? I think it's the Hercules. I think it's got to be the Hercules. All right. Still need that inkable. Ah, dang. There goes my be prepared. Come on. Second be prepared. Oh, gosh. I do got a lot of removal in my hand though. Wow, they retroactively see songs. Okay. I did not know that. Alright, there goes a mini. Alright, so I can get rid of a Prince Eric. I can get rid of an Ariel. There goes my mini. Really needed a board wipe. Okay, what can I do? I could play a Maui and a Teeth. I mean, Maui's worth two characters. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, here's the thing. Have to defeat the Robin Hood. If I attack the Ariel, I'll have two damage, and then I teeth, I'm up to four damage. Robin Hood gets to just defeat me. So the Robin Hood's got to go. And then I got to take out the character I can take out. All right. Opponent's got a lot of wiggle room with that aerial, though. 
Oh, and that's a lot of flutes. Man, opponent got the flutes exactly when they want them, too. Mid to late game. That's rough. It's like the perfect time to get them. Another whole new world. There's the be prepared. Hmm, <laughs> not great. <laughs> not great at all. Let's nuke you. Let's get rid of you. I'll play a Tiana. Alright, opponent doesn't even need to interact with me anymore. Except for the songs that have to interact, I suppose. Man, it must be nice having everything you need when you want it. <laughs> everything you want when you need it. And everything you want and need when you want and need it. No, fun game though. Very fun. I like the back and forth. Yeah, I keep going crazy. Quest, be prepared. And then I got nothing else going on. Gotta play it though, because otherwise my opponent just quests and slash song flutes for victory. So it had to be done. I think those flutes have me locked out of this game. The good news is a lot of their songs probably interact with my having characters. Hmm, I can only do three damage tops. Not that I could afford it. I could afford it. I could ink this. I just, I don't have the plays. I got there it is. That's all they're looking for is something that their songs work on. Now they quest for five. So now I have to win on my turn. <laughs> Man, I keep getting a lot of this. Attack it! Attack him again! Ink. Hey, if they don't have a song, I bought myself a turn. <laughs> Oh, man. If the song deck doesn't have a song... <laughs> there it is. Song deck has a song. This is why I... It need the, this is why the ladder needs to be a real ladder. Because I'm not a gold player. <laughs> I'm giving away a booster box at the end of the month. Well, technically the first of the month. February 4th. Giving this guy away. All you gotta do is be a subscriber and a member of the Discord. Make sure you select the... Uh, uh, Lorcana tag your name will turn green that way you'll be in the raffle for that but I'm also doing the patreon private raffle for $25 a month uh, prizes are a lot more a lot bigger a lot more grand uh, you should be seeing them across the screen right now uh, a whole bunch of stuff I got a really cool little store uh, filled with a bunch of cool Disney things so the prizes are gonna change every single month but what I'd really like to do is keep some things going such as the booster box. Uh, that seems like a really cool one. Maybe multiple booster box for the private raffle. Depending on how many we get for that, the bigger and grander the prize is going to be. The grand prize, February 4th, will be the Enchanted Tinkerbell. This is a gorgeous card, which we pulled on the channel recently, so you guys saw this come fresh out of a pack. Uh, super cool card. That is the grand prize. Special note. If you join the day of the raffle, you will not be counted. Uh, that's largely to stop scammers and stuff. So, yeah. Let's jump back into the games. Mm -hmm. This color combination can be pretty wild. 
Okay, well, all of my two damage spells can just go right away. They literally will do nothing. In fact, the entire hand is pretty hot garbage in this particular matchup. Okay. Well, I'm destined to have two damage spells, so hopefully my opponent is playing something weird. Not going to use that. Let's go for Tiana. Fairy Godmother. Okay, so a Cinderella deck. Definitely a Cinderella deck, right? Oh, and a Floodborne that cares about... Or a deck that cares about Floodborne. <laughs> Those are the words I meant to say in that order, I swear. Uh, okay, you're just a long ways off. Let's develop. Pass turn. Okay, cares about Floodborne, cares about Cinderella, so there's definitely Cinderella Stoutheart in the deck. A thousand percent, four of. And they want to shift, so I'm going to assume there's the little Cinderella as well. Little Steel. Alright, so I've identified... 16 cards of their deck, four blue fairies, four fairy godmothers, four Cinderella's, stout-hearted, four little Cinderella's. Definitely four of those as well. There's a duplicate. Oh no! I guess I have to ink you. Let's see, when you play, you may exert chosen character. Okay. And that can defeat both of these. Can't defeat a prince, though. Let's go, bodyguard. There's the Cinderella. Do they got another? Oh, it's the interesting one. Also a 3 4. Whenever this character quest, challenger three. Okay, so it's going to attack for four. All right, that'll take out the prince. And now they get the card back. I want them to replay it. And then I'll nuke it. I'll stick it in the microwave. I mean, we're probably going to ink it, but let's start here. Yeah, we're definitely inking this one. Quest and quest. Well, it is going to quest. I wonder if it's effect... This character quest, your characters gain. I don't know if it retroactive I don't like I don't know if this one has the ability. Because it wasn't in play when that quest trigger happened. If this was magic, then no. The answer would be no. <laughs> oh, another blue fairy. I mean I will just gladly keep nuking these things. <laughs> Still need to ink. Alright, we'll develop a Goofy. We'll see how the opponent can deal with it, if they can. They do got a lot of questing, though. I don't want to have to race them and then put myself in a position of a board wipe, so maybe I just work towards the board wipe. Alright, well, let's start here. I don't want my opponent to get free stuff off that. Oh, there's the Donald Duck! Finally, am I going to be able to utilize him, though? Probably not. <laughs> not with this hand. Not with as much damage as my opponent gets to do with that fairy godmother. Plus three to all of their attacks. That's brutal. Alright, opponent quest for four. I'm in the lead. So 
I play Goofy, this is a race that I'm actually winning. But if they continue to go wide, it's not a race I'm winning. So I think Goofy's the last card we develop, and then we're just going to hold the rest of our cards close to our chest. Gearing up for the Be Prepared. Letting our opponent go wide while we just hold on to everything. That way we have the best turnaround turn. Yeah, might even pop it off sooner than expected if uh, they have a way to deal with all my stuff. Let's see a Swords. Raging Fire. Okay, there goes Goofy. Yeah, if they got a way to just deal with everything, it might just be time for a Be Prepared. I don't like that opponent gets to recover first. Alright, this card will be useless. Alright, we're gonna go for it. I don't know how we're gonna get this Donald to pop off. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Quest for one. Elsa. Well, there's a dragon fire target. Oh, they targeted their own Elsa? I'm gonna give him a whoops for that. Whoops. <laughs> it's not a big whoops. I mean, I'm, I was gonna destroy it no matter what, I think. Could have waited, but... I don't really see much of a point in having waited for that. Beast. Alright, I do want to take out that blue fairy. Does represent a little too much card advantage. Plus, it'll bolster Donald a little bit. Alright, I could put two damage on the beast. I think I will. Just so they're not drawing more cards with it. Alright, Donald's interesting. He quests for two now. Every point of damage is another he quests for. Oh no, not an Elsa! <laughs> well, I stifled my opponent's ability to draw, but they're still doing it. Yes, you can't target Donald, he has evasive. Well, the good news is... Maui buys me a turn. They do go to 16 here. So depending on what they play, I might have to do a Be Prepared. I don't want to, they got way more cards than I do. Okay. Swords is good for Donald. Do they got more? My opponent's gonna force a Be Prepared out of me. Okay, Yzma's gonna let me draw some cards. That makes the Be Prepared a lot better. Gives me a way to recover. Fortunately, I don't have a follow-up play to the Be Prepared. But I can get rid of a character and develop. Okay. Okay, well, it's not the character I want to get rid of. <laughs> That's not the one. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Let's go for an evasive Donnie and evasive Mini. Come on, Donnie Duck. You know, if he gets one point of damage on him somehow, we could just win the game. Damage off the top. Damage dealer off the top. I'll strike my own Donald. Come on, Donald. Oh, it's a smash. It's a smash. Oh, Donald quest for four. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite color combination. Period. Not necessarily to Lorcana, but just, just in general. I'm just red-blue, man. I'm a red-blue... Mage. Ice and fire. Okay, well I do got a Tiana into a teeth. Could be important if they run Noi. I'm working on that. Noi as in noise. Not Noe. Even though Noe just feels so much better to say. Alright, let's get rid of one Donald. 
and a goof. All right, I got, well, I got a Donald back. Definitely gonna ink that card. It just doesn't do anything for me at this point. I know Go to the Distance could be a good card. I'm just not sure if I want to set myself up for that. Ooh, healer. Red, blue, healing. So is there going to be a Grand Pabby? There might be a Grand Pabby. Alright, it's a good target for Tiana. Not the best target. Like It's a one and done, so it's like it actively doesn't do anything anymore. Jasmine. Grandma Tala. Okay. I could teeth, but I don't if I if I do teeth, then Tiana just effectively is trading across the board. I don't think I want to do that. But looking at what they got, I might want a second character down. Let's get rid of one of these Donalds. I mean, I got a Donald plus a Smash, so I'm looking at an evasive quest for. You know, it's funny as my opponent could choose to heal Donald to reduce how much he quests for. Talk about the craziest back and forth, right? Opponent choosing to heal my character. It could happen. My opponent's running healing. It's a good counter for the Donald Duck. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, though. Also, Teeth is really good with Donald. Get to take out a thing while actively making him better. Alright, Maui's gone. Let's hope I don't have to ink anything else. I'd really love... We got so many perfect cards to set up Donald. Including Donald. Now, I gotta be careful. Between Teeth and Smash, that does actively... Destroy Donald. <laughs> but if opponent is healing, teeth could get me some more lore back. Yeah, let's just both keep questing. That's fine. No game. No. <laughs> I need inkables. Alright, quest. Come on, ink a blow off the top. Please don't make me ink my smash. I need it for Donald. Ooh, there goes Minnie Mouse. That's actually lucky that that got used up. They might have more of those, though. In fact, it's fairly likely they have more of those. Coconut. Uh, whenever you play a character, you move two damage from chosen character. Yeah, they can actively just choose to heal my Donald if they really want. Okay, no, it's gone. It's gone. It's fine. Gumbo Pot heals my Donald. Ah, well, Fire Cannons does work with Donald. Man, all the uninkables. So much synergy for the Donald and had to get rid of almost all of it. In fact, we did get rid of all of it. We're just lucky to have drawn another source of damage. How many is it? It's 13, right? Like, there's 11. There's 11 in this deck. All right, they're one turn away from a Grand Pabby, but I do have a solution to that. Dragonfire. Oh, finally gonna get some trades. And now they'll heal the Jasmine with the Gumbo Pot. Make the mistake. Oh, they did get rid of it. That is funny. Alright, now I get a quest for four on my turn. That's fantastic. <laughs> Man, why is it the game where we like finally get Donald with all of the key pieces? We're playing against an actual healing deck. 
Man, if only I had some ink. We'd play this and Beast. Let's just get way ahead. Let's see if I can't force my opponent to use their healing stuff on my characters. Let's see if they even know that they can do it. Oh, are you going to break that golden flower? Fishbone. All right, they kept the golden flower. Looking for the Grand Pabby, I'm sure. Another Jasmine. And here's the question for them. Do they pop that golden flower or do they keep it in hopes of finding their Grand Pabby? Oh, now they can pop it. They got the gumbo pot. I mean, at this point, I'm almost ready to just hit him with a be prepared. I need ink for it, though. So I need a, I need to survive another turn to do it. Let's see. Get rid of a Jasmine. They're questing for six. So let's tie up the game. I am ahead, so now I'm way ahead. All right, now they got to deal with Donald. Which they can do by healing, funny enough. Oh, they got a launch. Okay. Just as good. Man, I really wanted to see my opponent heal him, though. That's just silly. Alright, are they blowing up Gumbo Pot to draw more cards? They should. Please don't make me ink the beast. Don't make me ink the beast. Play more characters. Popsicle, not bad. I want you to commit more characters. Yes. Yes, opponent. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have to ink the beast, but I do like the goof, too. Genocide! <laughs> Alright, they get a ramp a little bit thanks to Grandma Tala. One jump, not a good card. Ink the teeth, play the beast. Alright, beast is a strong position. Drawn more cards and or questing. Oh! They had a launch. The perfect answer. That's three launches gone. All right, let's top deck a Cinderella. Come on, Cinderella's perfect. That's not Cinderella. This opponent got their own bee prepared? Not yet. All right, no need to commit my other piece to the board. I don't want to walk into a be prepared. Scar. All right, well, Scar buys him a turn. It's funny, playing the beast would have been interesting. He would have taken six damage. Fast turn. Beast is good enough. Let's see if he makes it. Quest, quest. Don't tell me opponent just got be prepared. <laughs> oh, I got the well played. Okay. Well played. Gains evasive. Whoo, that was a fun game. Uh, gross. Uh, destined to lose. Uh. Ruby Amethyst. All right. Well, there's the Donald Duck. No reliable way to do damage to him, though. Very expensive hand. All right. Let's get rid of everything except the mini. Okay. I do got the mini teeth, though this likely won't do anything in this particular matchup. I like that my hand automatically sorted itself between the two colors. Red on the left. 
That's one fox defeated. That was very easy. Last turn. Alright, Maleficent down. Still nothing from the opponent. Mm, yeah, we're probably not going to get here. The problem with the resist characters is they are expensive. And against Ruby Amethyst, it's largely just targeted removal. In which case, the resist doesn't do anything. Now, the only reason I've kept my teeth is in case they had Pascal. But that looks like that's not going to be an issue. Let's go Bodyguard. Why not? I do suspect my opponent's going to quest and then hit us with a fox, so maybe bodyguard wasn't the way to go. If I would have given it another two seconds of thought. Two more seconds of thought and I would have had a better play, but I also would have had angrier comments telling me I'd take forever to make plays. <laughs> Well, there's a good target for this. Time to quest. I don't suspect you're actually going to be any use to us anymore. It's a lot of removal. And I only have one quester. Now he's not a quester. I got a lot of removal and almost no questing ability. <laughs> We're going to want to protect this Minnie Mouse with our life. There goes a snack. Slither a snack. Oh, but there's a goof. Do I remove the Mim? I think I removed the Mim. Or I just play the goof. I just play the goof. It's just, just goof comes down. I'll leave up the Minnie Mouse. That way, Lady Tremaine can't force the goof sacrifice. That's three foxes down. That's good, because <laughs> they are crazy annoying to deal with. Hmm, looking at a be prepared for next turn. The tricky bit is I have to have enough material in play for be prepared to make sense for my opponent. So if I quest with Minnie Mouse, that does not help because they can take it off the board. Alternatively, I play Maui, I take Madame Mim off the board. Then we're probably looking at a be prepared. All right, let's get it out of the opponent's hand. And I will quest here. If I play Beast, it's guaranteed a, a be prepared, and I just don't want that. I want Beast to actually draw me one additional card. All right, here comes the be prepared. There goes the last Fox. As predicted, I had to give my opponent enough material for them to need to play it. Now we gotta be careful of Lady Tremaine. Right, whatever I play now gets Lady Tremaine. So I need to be able to play multiple characters. It sucks, but that's the way it has to be. Hmm, teeth is no good. Still a turn away from doing anything meaningful. This is definitely a position my opponent wants to be in. Alright, now I can play multiple characters. That survives a Lady Tremaine. Does, I just don't know what else they got. They could also just be running the dragon. In which case, Beast isn't going to do anything for us. Crab does nothing. 
There's the Lady Tremaine. That definitely hits the Prince. And I probably got enough material out of my opponent now that it makes sense for me to be prepared. And I'll play the mini. If I can bait a Lady Tremaine out of their hand, one down. Thousand more to go. Oh, two down. 999 left to go. Hmm, another beast. Well, if I have to choose a beast, that is the beast I want. Oh, gross. Nope. That game is over. Gross.